Hi, I just uh, want to share some experience with uh, with you regarding my project of building a, a pneumatic uh, power hammer. I actually got this idea when I was looking on, on YouTube and uh, thought that uh, a lot of advanced mechanical uh, gadgets out there built by very skilled people uh, maybe I could realize this power hammer by using just an ordinary uh, worn out uh, hydraulic piston so I had one laying around actually and I uh, tried to give it some air and, and it, I thought it uh, reacted quite well I have two settings on this machine, so uh, apart from reacting or control, being controlled by the inductive sensors, I can uh, actually just have an on-off function. So uh, when I push this one, it will move down and stay there and go back when I release. Might be useful. I'm uh, a newbie to air hammers, so. Uh, I have no idea actually, it was just easy to implement in the software. The control board I use is an Arduino board. This might look uh, advanced. It's uh, not advanced at all. This is just a, a casing for something else that I found. So I put an Arduino board inside with a, um, a connection shield, which makes it easier to put, a, put the cables in. I have a small switch here, which I can use to change anything, uh, status, uh, uh, stroke length or whatever I would like. Uh, this is actually a 3D printed box. Uh, which I added copper tape uh, around and uh, uh, I've soldered the, the ground to the outside of the box so this is a shield box for the relay the rela relay puts out a lot of interference so it uh, will affect uh, the operation of the, the, um, the processor so you need to shield uh, away the, uh, the relay I also tried using optocouplers, but that didn't help. It's actually uh, the, the interference is actually moving through air. On this side, we have the, the pneumatic valves, uh, the cheapest one I could find uh, from uh, Wish. Uh, it was eight euro, I think. The, they run very smooth and well. They are controlled by 12 volts. The only problem I had is the inlet and outlet uh, diameters are very small, so I had to use two of them in parallel. The piston is just uh, lightly welded to the frame, 
and uh, I have uh, an old sledgehammer as a hammer and anvil. It's just split it in two, as you see. Some extra weights onto it, maybe around uh, 10 kilos in total. Also, there is a guide rod here to make sure that it doesn't rotate. This black box inside there is a switch, and uh, I don't know if you see that. Uh, you can see that when that rod is moving up and down it affects the switch and you can also hear the the relay clicking when I do so the lever here it's not a foot pedal yet it will be moves the this rod up and down it affects the switch is one thing the other thing it does is uh, moving uh, these sensors up and down the sensors are bought from Wish as well for a couple of euros a piece. Uh, by the way, I'm not sponsored by Wish. Uh, it just happens that some things I buy there actually works. The iron rod, when it affects the lower um, inductive sensor, the, the computer will tell the relay to switch, affecting the solenoid valves, um, moving the piston up. And when the, when the iron rod affects the upper, Inductive sensor, the piston will move down again. So that is what creating the, the stroke. The stroke is much, of course much longer than the distance between the sensors because of uh, the delay in building pressure inside of the, of the cylinder. But uh, uh, it seems to, to work fairly well. Uh, One big advantage with this construction uh, as far as I see it, it's a, it's that it's uh, mechanically very trivial. Uh, not, not a lot of moving parts, springs, etc. Uh, as uh, it is in many of those constructions that I've seen online and I've searched a lot. So it's not challenging to build one of these. As long as you get hold of one of these pistons, which you can get in scrap yards. This is an, a worn out cylinder from a, from a Volvo front loader. And uh, electronically, it's, uh, it's very easy to, uh, to get to this point. Uh, you can search the online forums for Arduino. Uh, the Arduino boards are just uh, like 5 euros to buy online and uh, you can start uh, experimenting with that uh, apart from that you will need a piece of software of course and uh, uh, it will take you a couple of hours if you're a newbie to uh, write this kind of software but it's not complex at all and uh, as mentioned the online forums for Arduino for example will help you with that when it comes to the air, I have an uh, uh, Atlas Copco compressor with a 150 liter tank, uh, only 2.2 kilowatt, and uh, it managed to run this machine in, uh, I would say, five minutes. And then uh, I see that I have to heat up my, my piece of iron anyway, so that is uh, not a showstopper. If you need more punch to this machine, you can give it. Uh, a little bit more air uh, with with uh, bigger hoses and uh, maybe other valves but uh, there is a limitation for these uh, hydraulic uh, pistons of course they are meant to be run on uh, uh, a low volume of uh, oil not a large volume of air so the inlets are very small so there is uh, a limitation there but I recommend this build uh, if you have uh, parts like these uh, laying around and uh, if you uh, want tips on the software or, or the electronics, uh, please uh, write that in the comment field. Thanks for watching. Bye.